Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who know me, welcome back. And for those of you who don't, I'm Pia and I'm your host for all things Lux. On today's video, I thought I'd share with you what I keep on my everyday makeup drawer. These are the goodies that I actually reach out for on a daily basis and I keep them not with the rest of my makeup collection or products I get sent or products that I purchase and I'm going to test out. These are the products that actually make it to my everyday washroom drawer in which I do my makeup every day. I like to keep all my products on this clear containers. They just fit nicely laid down on the drawer. Just a little side note, you're gonna have to excuse that on the background. I'm actually preparing an upcoming holiday and I needed to get some dresses out. So now without any further ado, let's get started. Fave lip balm as of lately. You've seen me use this one a million times by now. It's the Glow Balm by Purse. Let's get the hair out of the face with my new clippies. How cute are these? Also got them in brown. On this first container in here, I keep the good that are good the goodies that are good under my makeup as a base so I'll either use Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base a combination of a moisturizer and a primer as well or I'll use the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream this one's also fantastic for when you want makeup to really glide on nicely oops do you know what I'm gonna do a little bit of that one right now because I feel like my skin could use it today. It has the slightest, like, Charlotte scent. It's so delicious. It acts as a really, really nice base for makeup not to sink into the skin and just kind of like lay nicely on top of. And then in here, I keep some eye masks by Intuit, which are my absolute go-to to wake up in the morning. And I'll also keep some rescue mask from Yves Lom. This is fantastic for when my skin's sucking out, which hasn't really been the case since Different, but I'll still do one from time to time because it's got that really nice white clay to deeply cleanse the skin. And whenever I want a moisturizing mask, I'll use this one from Valmont. So I know that's not makeup, but it kind of like goes hand in hand, doesn't it? On the other container of my daily skincare slash girly whatever goodies because lip balm I've just shared with you a little bit of different for acne my Effaclar cream for when I want something super light super soothing and then I also have another one from La Roche-Posay this one's the Cicoplast if you're trying to repair your skin barrier once again after some acne issues this is a great product I feel like I look like a schoolgirl with my look and the little hair thingies but it doesn't when you have the full look with the denim and the nice bag and all that but anyway <laughs> two of my Intuit serums this ones are my eye serum which I use every single day and then I've got my NID plus face serum this cream which I actually use in my body I don't know if it's a face cream or a body cream but I like it on my body La Prairie Skin Caviar Luxe Cream for the eye area. I actually finished my face one, so I should get some more of that. Halle Hansen and the Sally Hansen. It's kind of hard for me because I see everything written in French and then I have to say it in English to you, so bear with me sometimes if my brain goes like, pause. <laughs> Cuticle oil that I like to apply at nighttime. And then I've got my everyday perfume in here for colder days, which is the Hermes Ambre Narguil. Although it's not what I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing Victoria Beckham Sunny Isidro, the yellow bottle, which I'm also very much enjoying this day. The first official container for makeup it's got all of my base products in it i've got two of the hermes foundations i keep this ones in the shade palomino and chambre they're my most tanned or least tanned shade and then i'll mix both in like i'm gonna do today actually which is kind of a perfect match for me on days when my fake tan's fading out this foundation is lovely it's got very nice skincare properties and it's got great coverage it's a little bit luminous it just really makes it look like your skin but better it's definitely buildable if you want to add a little bit of extra coverage some of the other foundations i keep in here the chanel one which is a really recent purchase for me this is a very light water fresh tint i think it's like 70 75 percent of it it's water i also like to keep the bobby brown skin longwear weightless foundation this was got 15 spf great coverage a little bit luminous just a really nice proper base product if you're maybe going to a party or something like that. 
And then I like to keep in here two other products. This is the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. It's actually a glowing primer, but I like to mix it in with foundation. On days in which my skin's dull, I feel like something like this mixed in with the foundation as opposed to before the foundation makes you look just like with that extra glow. A product I really love and cannot go on holiday without. This is the By Terry CC Serum. This is a brightening CC Serum. I use it in the shade Sunny Flush, number four, and it's great for like having a little wash of color with a little bit of extra glow during holiday time under the sun. Moving on to the under eye area, I only keep three products in here and I used to only keep two, but now recently I added a third one. This is the Skin Full Cover Concealer. It's by Bobbi Brown and it has to be one of my favorite full cover concealers for the under eye area. It doesn't set on the creases. It adds luminosity and it's a perfect color correction match for me. I also keep in here the latest edition from Chanel. And then I keep in there the Banana Low Lighter from Rodeal. This is a fantastic product from really adding light under the eye area. In the next container, I keep my eye products. And in this moment, I have this combo that I've been obsessed with for months and I haven't really changed it. I just keep on repurchasing these two products. And it's the Dior Show Brow Styler combined with the Charlotte Tilbury Eyebrow Fix. It's one of those retractable thin pencils and that's something I appreciate because some of them are worth the sharpening. But the eyebrow, I, I, I don't want to have to sharpen my eyebrow pencil. Honestly, besides the color match and the fact that it doesn't smudge, this is the main reason why I love this one. It also comes with a little spoolie. So we've got an owl in the backyard. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm just hoping she'll be there by the time I'm done filming this video and I can take a little peek at her. Because I feel like owls, or him, I don't know, it. I feel like owls are such cute creatures. Then on days when I want to, to fix my eyebrows, I'll use the Charlotte Tilbury one. This one right here is called the Brow Fix, and it's just a really clear gel. Might look a little bit yucky in there, because obviously I pass it through my already painted brows, but it's clear. <laughs> I'll either do like this type of potted eyeshadows, these ones are from Victoria Beckham. So this one's mink is a really lovely type of slaty, purpley. Really, really like that for a nice like night out, super smoky look. I then also keep chiffon in here, which is one of my favorite all lid colors. I love wearing this type of like pinky shades all over the lid. I think they're really, really nice and like complement and open the eye when you have really dark eyes. And then I have this little palette from a mess, Ombre. Mordore, and it's also one of my absolute go-tos. This one was a gift from um, one of my girlfriends. And then for the other eye pencil eyeshadow things in here, mainly variations of the same product. The Victoria Beckham Pecan eyeshadow, which is my everyday go-to. Well, every day I do makeup. I don't do makeup every day, but like every day I do makeup. I'll just put that one on the crease. It's like a very nice warm eye contour shade, I call it. Or I recently discovered another one that's quite similar, which will be this one from Chanel. It's shade number 12 and it does a very similar effect, a little bit of a cooler tone, I would say. As eyeshadow sticks, I have quite a couple of them. So I have some Charlotte Tilbury um, Hazel Eyes one. I think it's called Gold something. I cannot read the name on it anymore. Another one from Victoria Beckham, this one's Oyster, very lovely shade. I keep another one from Bobbi Brown, this one's called Bellini, very lovely all over the lid. So when I have a color that I wanna be testing out, I'll put it in this type of daywear containers, uh, so I make sure I don't forget to test it out. And this is the next one I wanna test, it's by Bobbi Brown, and it's another one of those um, cream sticky eyeshadows. And then I have some eye pencils. My most used one, which is Victoria Beckham Coco. It's a very nice deep shade of brown. I have Pillow Talk. Then I have this one, which is my most recent one. It's from Chanel. Another shade of brown, but this one's got more coppery shades in it. I have another one from Charlotte Tilbury. This one's in the shade something brown obviously, Barbarella Brown. There's like the slightest hints of something sparkly in it. And then I have one felt tip eyeliner. Do just the tiniest, blend it out with an angled brush like that. 
there we go. When it comes to my bronzers, I have a couple. Most, most used one will be Terracotta by Galan. This is a color I keep on buying over and over and over again ever since the beginning of times. This is in the shade Medium Doré and it's shade number three. I also have another one for when I'm a little bit more bronzed. This one's from a mess, Caribbean type of holiday color and I really like it. I also like it on my eyes, like if I ever wanna do like a very nice deep bronzy eye look. This one's an OG, this is a Hulu bronzer from Benefit. And then I also have a little bit of Hyaluronic setting powder by Terry. And then another one that I cannot miss mentioning is this one from Charlotte Tilbury, it's refill shade number two. My latest addition to this day wear makeup is the Chanel cream bronzer. This one's one I used to love. I don't know if you've seen the video in which I showed the application of all the latest products I got. But after testing it out again recently, I had to put it back into my everyday products tray. I think it makes the skin look a little bit juicier, a little bit plumpier, and obviously sun-kissed. On the next bag, and I say the next one because I have them all like actually aligned according to the order in which I like to do my makeup in. I have my most used highlighters, Luminous Light Ambient Lighting Powder, which you can use either to settle your face or to actually use as a highlight. I have a little bit of blush that works as a highlight as well from Hermes. This one's the Rose Doré. Then I have a palette by Charlotte Tilbury. This one's Film Star Bronze and Glow. Hermes Planner Corail Monjab. This is another one of those sort of trio highlighters in which you're gonna get three different highlight shades or it looks very nice also swirled all together. Super sheer healthy glow highlighting fluid. Love this. I think this is what I'm gonna go for today. And you get quite a bit of product with this one and you pump it out but don't be scared. It like really is a very sheer glow. Easy to highlight the face with and it's got the slightest scent to it that reminds me of the Chanel Vital Lumiere Aqua foundation in case you're into that scent as well. We're almost done. Up next I'll do my eyelashes and I have a product in here that it's literally just arrived today so I don't really use this one on an everyday basis but I do use something like this on an everyday basis only that now I had lost mine for a couple of months and um, I just got a new one in the same place where I got all of my cute little hair clips. Let's test it out. What I don't like is that it kind of like goes into your face and leaves a mark in there so I'm not certain this is the best type of product for me. Yeah, that's a good curl. I guess I just need to get used to this because I'm used to the scissor type. If you don't hold it close enough, it's gonna dig into your face. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. So let's move on to the actual mascaras that I use on an everyday basis. I have three, well, I have four products, but three that are my absolute go-tos. This ones are Bobbi Brown Mascara, Illy Mascara, and the Hermes Mascara. And then the fourth one I have in here is the Chanel one, which I recently added. Today I'm gonna go in with the Illy one. I like that it's a buildable mascara, and I really appreciate the brush on this mascara. Like, the formula is great, and it lasts all day but I don't have much of a lash to hold the curl off anyway. All the hair I got given here was removed from my eyelashes. <laughs> brush of this is great for really like getting into every single one of those tiny hairs. There we go. It's a very natural finish but it's definitely buildable. I have in here my everyday lipsticks, Comfort Pussycat and Cherry Lush which are beautiful pink and red respectively. I have a Victoria Beckham Bitten Lip Tint in the shade Amour, which is your lips but better. Rouge Coco Flash Destination Lipstick. I've got a gorgeous one from a mess, Rose Insoline. Really appreciate this one when it starts to get a little bit warmer or if it's really cold outside and I'm wearing like an all gray outfit I feel like a color like that kind of picks you up on an otherwise very cold and grayish day. This is Chanel Attraction you might have seen it recently from my recent haul. I also added it to my everyday once because I loved the finish of that one and then I have two in here those type of like I have to test out products. This first one which is from Orieche almost like a black current type of shade this one in here which is Givenchy. Do you know what? We can test it out today. That can be our, our first day testing it out together even if it's an everyday makeup thing. This is a real thing I do in order to test out products. So I put them on the here and then I remember to test them out and then we'll see if it it passes the test to go into the everyday once or if it's just going to go back into the the sometimes occasions storage area. It's even got the little Shivanshi logo in there, that's so cute. I was thinking it was gonna go more into the beige 
tones, but it's not. It's definitely more on the pinky side of shades. It's like a, a toned down pink, which I think looks cute. And now I can show you the last bag. Um, so in the last one in here, I have some other lip products. I have two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. These ones are Pillow Talk and Cut Walking, which is a beautiful beige rosy shade. I've got two Charlotte Tilbury lip chits in here. These ones are in the shade um, Hot Gossip and Pillow Talk. Hot Gossip is my absolute go-to, but then for days when I need a little bit of a rosier tint in my lips, I'll do it with the Pillow Talk one. And then I have some Palmer's Cocoa Butter to hydrate my lips. I also have the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, but in the lip balm form, um, which I really, really like. I've got a Rare Beauty product that, this one was actually a gift for my husband once and I really appreciated it during a warmer month type of look. So it's got a little bit of an orangey tint to it and it's one of those that like will just stay put no matter if you eat or drink something or whatever, like it will just stay there. Oh, and two more products. The REM Lip Gloss, which is a very nice type of like sparkly lip gloss. Reminds me of my all-time favorite lip gloss that's been discontinued. It was by Dior and I used to always, always, always wear that. Um, and it had a little bit of a pearlescent topper part in this shade. This one in here, which is my nowadays favorite lip gloss, which is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the shade is Honey something. Honey Kiss. Ooh, that sounds so cute. It's just a really like honey shade type of lip gloss. And then two more products I have in here. These ones were custom made for me at the Baton Rouge lab in Paris. This is my perfect everyday nude, which you girls know I love. It's like the perfect combination of like a rosy, beige tone for an everyday look. And then I have the lip gloss to go with it, which is also, it was made in the same shade. All right, you guys, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're not done watching, I'll leave you two more in here so you can binge a little bit more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.